Hitler. In today's panorama, we'll be looking at whether five-year-olds are too young to start formal education. With over 90% of world children starting at the age of six or seven, are we pushing our children into formal education too early? Is it a mental risk or is it a great advantage that is leading us ahead of the rest of the world? Too much too soon campaign objective to 70 learning goals by EYFS for, for five-year-olds. For each learning objective, three evidences need to be found. That's 210 and that's just too much, they claim. They claim that EYFS is just insufficient in, in education, stressful for children and parents, uh, damaging to their ability to learn and ending their health and unworkable for practitioners. They recommend that children need real food, uh, real play, lots of talk, lots of songs and the freedom to learn from their environment. They advise the practitioners to teach them human skills rather than just concentrating on their head. Childhood Movement is a collaboration of individuals and organizations that are concerned about the current erosion of childhood. The movement aims to protect children from inappropriate developmental and cultural pressures such as the threat of assessment. To promote children's well-being, they are launching its first campaign, Too Much Too Soon, to stop inappropriate policy making and a possible delay to the formal school starting age. Dr. Penelope Leach, a child psychologist, states that the majority of the EYFS framework is wonderful, but the one thing that she objects to is the learning goal. The learning goals say that children before the age of five should achieve all of the following. Enjoy using spoken and written language, retrain to familiar words and simple sentences, independently write their own names, labels, captions, and begin to form simple sentences, some with punctuation. Say and use number names, recognize numbers, numbers 1 to 9, complete a simple computer program. Most people who work with young children will know that the vast majority do not meet all of these learning goals. Some meet none. This will set them up for failure before they've even started. The new 2012 EYFS framework has a number of changes. It reduces the statutory assessment of children's development at the age of five and also the number of learning goals has reduced from 69 to 17. This allows professionals to focus on supporting their own children. Piaget 1967 stated that children learn best through playing and exploring. However, a variety of factors have reduced children's ability to play, such as a more risk-averse society and an emphasis on academic attainment instead of encouraging imagination and creativity. Play is so important for child development that it has been recognized as a right for every child. Therefore, children should be given more opportunity to play as it provides beneficial opportunities such as independent learning and building confidence. According to the new national curriculum, five-year-olds will undergo a phonics screening check as part of their end of the assessment. The Department for Education found that only 58% of all eligible pupils met the standard of 32 marks out of the 40 in the phonics screening check. Now the question is, are we really going the right way? In the new national curriculum in maths, children have to um, skip with is numbers up to 100, not to mention the twos, fives and ten times table. How much can a five-year-old realistically learn? Critics fear that making things tougher earlier could be a counterproductive act as some children, if they do not do well, early, they will feel as though they are failing. Primary research specialist John Cole says that there is no research to back up that early learning nets better results. ICT will remain to be compulsory for all key stages from primary to secondary. Michael Gov wants the education system to be modern, which exploits the best that technology can offer to the schools, to pupils and to the teachers. Richard 2013 stated that Gov will revolutionize learning for children as young as five to learn how to write computer programs in their first year of school. Is Michael Gov becoming unrealistically overambitious? PISA released the results for 2012 showing that UK has fallen to 26th position and is forming around average in both mathematics and reading. However, China has brought the top three positions. Should the UK be following their footsteps? In China, children start school at the age of six and their curriculum is very fact-based and exam-focused. So is Michael Gove going in the right direction with his new curriculum? On average, the number of children per household in the UK is two, which is double the amount there is in China. This is due to their 
Is this really the case, or are parents too busy working? Well, in the UK, a mother spends 9.45 hours a week with their children, but in China, they actually spend 11.8 hours a week. This suggests that they have more parent-child interaction time, which is crucial, and it's also supported by too much to think of it. In addition, approximately one-fifth of families in the UK live in poverty, while in China, it's only 15%. This supports Elizabeth Trust with why children should start school at the age of five. However, this can be argued with the country's definition of what poverty actually means. China came first in the World's League table, but they seem to concentrate on children's academia only. Finland came below them, and they seem to concentrate on building the children as a human being, as a whole. Because of Scandinavian uh, education system also being really high up in the League table, Michael Gold in December 2013 and uh, Scottish MPs in 2010 embraced and endorsed the Scandinavian education system. Now look at some timetables of these three countries. China has the longest school days proving their dedication to academia, while Finland has shorter days and more time dedicated to extracurriculum activities. Here are some international adult perspectives of children starting school in their countries and what age they should start. Children in our country start school from the age of six. Russia is seven years old. Or from five years old. At six years old. At school. Five. And six years old. Four or five. Starts at the age of six. Seven. Six. At the age of five. At school at five. I started school at five. Children start at age six. The adults interviewed have expressed their opinions about children going to school for their formal education. These adults have been educated in their home countries using their education system. They believe that children should be going to school at the age of five because it allows them the extra time to learn more. And this supports the current formal education system of the UK. We wanted to find out what children thought about the Too Much Too Soon campaign. So we asked children of different ages about their perspective. We will be explaining why they thought this. Uh, children should, at the age of six, they should go to school, but... When you start school? Five. Five years old. So At the age of three to four. Six school? Five. Five. Seven, five. Cool. Five. The majority of the children that we interviewed found that they preferred to start formal schooling at the age of five. Now this contradicts the Too Much Too Soon campaign, having said that there were some children that preferred to have schooling at the age of six or seven, and this supports the campaign. Environmental officers want an earlier baseline check where children are often inspected and measured on league tables. Experts have warned us about that, Christina, saying that the current system will test five-year-olds, which will put them in under stress and put them off learning altogether. Furthermore, I believe that children should be going to school when they are six or seven years old because Absolutely. research has shown that they cause profound damage. Profound the damage the generation are not encouraged to play. Well, I found a recent research uh, by the education experts, Rabia, and they say that early education helps children in terms of developing their social skills, which they may not be able to get when they're at home. Because they develop interacting with new children, they develop to share, they develop to actually learn new things from the surrounding. But these are the Save Childhood Movement states that let children be children. Well, Nick Clegg in 2013 actually has stated that he is allowing children to be children. He is allowing children to go to school early so that they are learning from early age. This will provide crucial learning opportunity for children because they have the trained teachers and skilled teachers. Nick Clegg do not understand summer born children like me who performed less than their September born peers as found in IFS research. No, but research stated by the NAPS states that 90% of a child's brain is developed by the age of five. Absolutely, Christina. In support with this, let me just tell you, according to a recent research by Telegraph, they found that early years education has proven to deal with children 
in many ways, such as boys with difficult literacy skills and also the summer one issues as but well. But have you seen the article? There is no issues. There is no issues. Have you seen the article by Telegraph which says that six or seven year old children will perform better than for, uh, if they had, had they started at the age of four or five? A better performance. Mm -hmm. no, but I've taught five year olds and they are very, very capable of meeting the formalities there are in the national curriculum. So why not give them sign? Give them that head start. Definitely. 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 In 2013 stated that children are pushed Absolutely. into formal schooling. They are pushed young. Research has shown that this can cause negative long term effects such as premature death. Oh. Furthermore, Young Mind <laughs> Charity states that nearly one million children suffer from anxiety and depression. Now, is this really what we want for our five-year-olds? I don't agree. Not. I think we, we might do the research a little bit 